Okay, so here we are. We want to do a little gameplay uh, example of Clash of Spears. And we're doing a small game. A normal game of Clash of Spears is about 600 points and it'll take about two hours. So here, just to show the basic mechanics, we're choosing to do about only 400 points, which is a smallish force. Um, and we're going to play a simple scenario where there's two objectives on the center of the table and the troops are going to try to control those objectives. It's kind of like control the land scenario. So um, I think with that, they'll be able, people will be able to see uh, the general mechanics of the rules and, and understand that normally this will be a little more expanded when you have a full army of 600 points, right? Makes sense. So tell us a little bit about the yeah. forces that are fighting here. Well, this is Rome is expanding into the south, trying to go into Campania. And so the Campanian general Graco Marcio has brought together some troops and some Samnite allies and is ready to stop the Romans in their tracks. We're going to start with the engagement uh, section of our battle, where troops are, what you see right now, are scouts that, can, that represent either a full unit or just a scout and no unit behind it. Those move at the beginning until they lock each other at a distance where they can see each other. And then after all units are locked, they get replaced with the actual units. So as you're deploying your units in this engagement section, you don't really know exactly what your opponent is doing. You have a sense, you know, there might be something coming there, but you don't know it until it gets revealed. And so with that, let's start by rolling initiative. Yep. So let's roll and see. Got a two. I guess we put the dice roller and I didn't use it, yeah? <laughs> okay, but uh, so with that... Um, so you go first. By the way, my name is Alvaro uh, and, and I'm this Francisco. is Francisco, we're the authors of the rule. Nick is out there in the background and maybe asking questions. Um, so let's start with that. I, I won, so I'll start moving. It's two movements each time uh, and so I'm going to take this unit. I'm going to move four here. So in each, in each of your engagement moves, you can do up to two four-inch moves. They could be done on the same uh, model or they could be done on different models four in each if you wanted so in that case he did two so what he's going to do is he's going to put a two next to it so that we know that that uh, that scout or unit has taken two actions because at the end of the engagement phase that will determine if they start with any fatigue or not um, so I'm going to do the same thing yeah. So basically yes your lighter troops can take more movements in the engagement if they don't get locked in um, and and your heavier troops, if you want, they can do it too, but they'll start the game with some fatigue, which can be a pain. So I'm going to move and this guy over here. So, so this game is at dawn, which means that uh, view is at 20 inches. So after he does his movement... So after each of those moves, even though this guy is going to do two moves, after each of those moves I need to check if we're in the distance where they would be locked. I think you're outside. So I'm outside, so I'm going to do my second move. Perfect. And I can do the full move. And now we check again, but now we know that at this now point we are going to so be outside. These two guys will get locked. So he did two actions, and now I'm going to get locked. So I'm going to mark it with a little counter. Boom. And that tells me that that unit is locked. Next guy, I'm going to go two actions here. So what is locked? What does locked do? So when they're locked, that means that I cannot choose this model to activate again. So they will remain there until we finish locking all the models on the, on the table. And at that point, we're actually going to replace them with the actual units. We will not find out who they are until we until we deploy them. And you can always pre-measure. Yeah, exactly. So you can always say, oh, I want so to stay here, right outside. Of I am distance. doing that. I made my two movements, but I stayed right outside of 20 so that I'm not locked yet. So put the counter to make sure to remember that. The and guy so you can move closer does. than 20 if you do exactly what Alvaro just did, yep. right? Yes. Yep. Okay, exactly. your turn. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send this guy to move a little bit open up and instead of him moving him again uh, I'm going to move this other guy. When you're looking at terrain you cannot pass if you're passing two sides of the terrain you cannot see so in this case that one is trying to get in a position where I won't be able to lock him um, I'm gonna keep going with this guy yet I'm gonna do four more hoping that I can remain out of distance to not get locked I could brush measure anyway before, but I don't think there's a chance of that. So this guy in his third movement will get locked. And we're gonna go with this guy. With I have still have one action left, so I'm gonna move this guy four. And now it's your turn. Alright. I'll leave him right out of 20. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to try to ball. So I know that that guy is going to 
pretty much lock my flank as soon as I start moving. That, that advanced scout is going to prevent me from flanking him. So what I'm going to do is just move my guys forward. Let me check to that guy yep. after his first move. Yeah, you are locked. Yep. So that means that this guy will get all the way there. And then I'm going to move another guy. And I think one of the things you can see is like, in a way, I made... Uh, it would have been better if I had moved one of my guys further forward at the beginning. Because by allowing him to bring that, sc that scout so much forward, it's difficult for me now to advance on this flank. Now, this thing is happening for him on this flank, but I would rather be able to advance on all the front, right? Uh, measure on this guy, please. Yeah. You're in. If you want to be in, you're just within 20. You want to stay out? I'll Perfect. stay a little out. Yeah. Because I want to be able to do one more move. That makes sense. This guy here is going to do four. And he is already locked. Actually, stay out of 20. So the first movement is there. And then four more, and he gets locked. That's where his two moves. And locked. Your turn. Okay, so I am going to keep advancing my line. I'm guessing that this guy is now going to lock. Can you check, please? Mm, yeah, he is. So he is locked. Um, I'm going to keep progressing here on the right. I'm pretty sure I'm outside from the guy on the left. Yeah, this guy is not seeing him. Yeah, this guy would, but because he's going through two sides of the woods, he doesn't yeah. see him. So that is, uh, those are my two moves, so it's up to you. You do two, okay, this guy, you see up to 20, so again, this guy is going to move here just before 20, and then he's going to do his second move. This is an important phase of the game, because the idea is, because these forces don't have a vanguard that can scout for them, they have to encounter each other, and this allows you to try to outmaneuver your opponent and figure out, trick him into a position where you can have your best troops in a better um, uh, position that he will, right? But okay. it's up to you. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to keep moving over here, and what I'm going to do is I am going to move this out further up. See? Um, okay. We're still out, and I'm going to bring this guy here. I'll do a move. And now and this check. guy is blocked, it's locked. Two actions and this one. Right. And then this guy is going to move four. He's going to be in 20 for sure. So he's going to get locked. Round of yellows. I said give you mine. Can you check to this guy? Yes. Because I want to see if this guy is still. Uh, let's see. Um, just out of 20. Okay. So I couldn't lock you. Okay, good. I tried. So you have one moving left there. So I'll do one here. Perfect. Two actions, and he's locked. And you still have that one locked. One over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to move into the woods because I want to have him in the woods. Perfect. Uh, but in reality, at this point, um, he will be locked because once I'm in the woods, they yeah. can see him when they're 16 inches apart. Yeah. So in the woods at the at dawn, you can see at 16 instead of 20. We are now, so he gets locked. And that's it. That's the end of the engagement uh, section. So the, the, in the engagement phase, you can do it in different ways. You could have little counters. We've chosen to represent the uh, scouting counters with figures. And what we did is underneath each figure, there's a number that tells in which unit it is. So at this point, this can be done simultaneously, but I'm yeah. doing it on my side. And what we do is the following. I go and I check. Okay, this is unit number three. Unit number three is a unit of a study. And a unit of a study with the armor that they're carrying according to the table, if they only executed two actions, they're going to start the battle with no fatigue. So that's a good thing. So I'm just going to replace this guy, and I'm going to put my guys here, however I want, in a formation of my choosing. And my study are going to start in open order. And because, as I mentioned, they don't need to, I don't need to put any fatigue. So that's it. And now I continue, we'll continue to do that with each of those uh, models. In my case, none of my guys, this is only took one action, none of my guys will have accumulated fatigue. The only question is this guy over here, because he took four actions. If he slides, he's okay, but this guy is nothing. He's just a scout, because light troops 
uh, whenever you have your army, you have one counter per unit in the army, but the units of light troops, for example, uh, velites in the Roman army, they can deploy a scout, and his role is just to scout ahead, and he will block troops and, and act as a unit, but in reality then, when the re uh, reveal phase comes in, he just goes back to his unit, and it just goes away. And of course, it also acts as a dummy in the sense of, like, I didn't know that that was in the real, a real unit. Yeah. So they can lock out the units, and they also can... So can let's continue, like, let's just place our units. Yeah, we will, and as I do this, you can see how... Um, how much of, of a heretic Francisco is, which uses units of seven guys, which is highly irregular. We like even numbers. So he mine, likes even numbers. Mine are, Romans uh, like mine are the numbers. correct number, and so I have a unit of six. Alright, so now the armies are deployed, and uh, so I'll, I'll tell you what my army is. I have two units of five V-lights. Uh, and then I have two units of um, seven Astadi. The V-Lights are my light troops. They're armed with the shield and, and javelins. My Astadi have partial armor and heavy shield, and they carry pilum. And then I have one commander. So this is a very light uh, Roman force. I have no principes, no triari, just a scouting patrol. Like here and over here we have Starting from the left, we have the Samnites uh, with partial armor. They like to fight in the woods, they're good at guerrilla, but they can also, because they carry heavy shields, fight in the open pretty well. The companion hoplites, these guys are veterans, so very tough, and they like to fight in a phalanx when they can, uh, and they like to fight in the open ground. These guys, they're just some tribesmen that got sort of forced into coming here. They're not super excited about being here, uh, but they carry big shields and they can hold the line. And then these are Balearic uh, mercenaries that were hired specifically for this. They are some of the more lethal troops uh, as long range, and we'll see how, how, how they do here. All right, so uh, we need to roll for initiative. Let's do that. And uh, normally we can bid for, we, so each of our commanders has a number of command points, uh, and we can bid some of those command points for initiative, but- Let's do it. Uh, let's One, do it. two, three, nothing. Okay, so given the first turn, is very Every common. point you spend of command gives you a plus one on the initiative die. Or this time we are rolling where we should. Four to two, I win. So I start having the initiative. And <coughs> this is a game that is not uh, an I go, you go. It's one turn. We just alternate activations. And as you will see through the game, you can interrupt the other person as they're acting. So I'm going to start with my um, some nights the, and I'm going to activate them since uh, I need to spend a command point for this uh, and I need to be within range. The range of my commander is 10, 10 inches. 10. So these guys clearly are within it. The activation happens automatically if they're not fatigued. If they're fatigued, I would have to test. This unit is gonna do a move action. Moves actions are always four inches. Um, so I'm gonna do first move with them here. and I'm gonna stop at that. They are just going to do one action today. As we'll see, they can come back and do more actions later, but for now, they do one, they gain an action counter, and we'll check on the, on the table of fatigue, since they're in open terrain, and they have a save of four or more, first action, no fatigue, so that's it for me. Okay, so I'm going to uh, activate my unit of a study and for the first action they're going to move forward four inches and they're going to do a second action do you wish to interrupt i will not so for the second action they're going to close ranks so i could have spent a command point to try to interrupt with one of my units and basically sneak in one action in between his actions uh, but i didn't because I'm far away, why would I waste a command point when I can wait and do it in my turn? And I'm choosing, so basically this is the two actions that they did, they're in the open and their uh, save is a uh, four or better, so that means that they don't gain any fatigue. And I'm doing that because those slingers are dangerous and when I close ranks, uh, because they have a heavy shield and they have the shield overlap trait, that will help me uh, withstand their attacks better. Perfect. So I'm gonna spend a second command point, so with my commander, uh, I'm going to activate the companion veterans since they're um, 
since since they don't have fatigue they don't need to test and they're going to do a move action and then second action these guys just as the roman they like to overlap shields it's a it's an interest it's a useful way of staying alive so second action are you going to interrupt between no. the first and second so then we're going to close ranks and that's their second action and they're done so those guys are they have full armor right they have full armor so normally a second action in the open would mean that they would gain a fatigue however they are drill troops are they drill troops yes they are since they are drill troops uh Closing ranks does not uh, incur any fatigue for them. Next All right, one. so what am I going to do? All right, so I'll bring uh, up my second unit of Astadi. That means I need to spend the command point to activate them. And they're going to move forward one inch, one move only. That's the first action. And not going to do a second action yet so that's going to be it for them and okay to you he's going to spend a command point these tribesmen who are not super excited about this are still going to do their job for now since they don't have fatigue they don't need to test they're going to move forward four inches but they're going to stop there because they appreciate their lives and they prefer other people to fight first that's just <coughs> one action all right so, I'm going to spend the command point and I'm going to activate the V-Lights and they're going to go into the woods. Just take some trees away. I'll need some. Yeah, leave that one. All right, so. While he does that, you will see that the table of fatigue, when you go into rough terrain, you don't move less. In this game, everyone moves four. It doesn't matter how much armor you have. It doesn't matter whether you're in the forest or not. What what that does is that the more armor you have, the quicker that you will start to gain fatigue. These guys, they have very little armor, they save on six. So usually they can do three actions without fatigue. But in, in, the, in rough terrain, the third action would fatigue them. So they did the first one there, they gained no fatigue. Are you going to do a second one? We're going to do a second action. Do you wish to interrupt? Um, I'm not. I'm going to let you do the second action. All right. So for their second action, uh, I know that the range of the javelin is six inches, and I know that when I do a throw action, I'll move two inches and then throw. Yes. So I can pre-measure and see that I'm within eight inches. So my second action is going to be a throw. I'm going to advance and throw javelins at those guys, right? Perfect. So let's do that. That would inches. have been a great moment for me to try to interrupt and close ranks with my guys or go into the forest so that they would count with cover. So I was careless there. Um, and so... Second action, you're now within six, so you're going to... So, throw. yes, and another thing that is important is to know that when we measure the range between units, I don't need to measure from each model. We just measure the closest distance between the models, and, if that's, and that's the range between the units. So in this case, it's six inches, so that means that I can attack with my javelins. Perfect. I will roll one die per figure, so I need five dice. And their <coughs> the range attack stat is a five. And because of that, I need fives. They are in the open, so just looking for fives. So how expensive my mistake is. I see two, two hits. Well, it's only five dice, so yes. Right. Two, two hits, both with fives. Expensive mistake. So now I'm gonna roll to save. These guys save with four or more. The javelin has no save in my fire. So I'm gonna roll both. I saved one, one cash roll. Okay, so any time that you get hit, you need to roll morale. And you will roll one die for the fact that you got hit at all, independently of how many hits, and then one extra die for each wound you received. Now these guys uh, have a guts stat of um, four, so I need to roll fours. Every one that I fail will mean one fatigue. I passed both dice, so these guys, even though they lost one guy, are unaffected and have no fatigue on them. On my side, I took two actions. So I'll put a yellow counter next to them, that indicates that they took two actions. The second action was in the woods, but again, because they're light, they would normally incur no fatigue. However, a throw action is always uh, have a plus one modifier, so always incurs in at least one fatigue. So my guys have one point of fatigue at this point. Perfect. And I'm not going to do a third action. She's not going to do a third action. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to spend one point and I'm going to activate this slingers here. The slingers are going to move four forward. Uh, 
Um, and slings have an effective range of 8 or a long range of 12. Um, I'm out of 8, but I'm still gonna... So I'm gonna do a second action, but I should ask first. So my first, they move there. Second action. Are you going to interrupt me? I'm going to try to interrupt because I want to try to put these guys in close order. So I'm going to spend the command point. And I need to do a check against my guts check, my guts stat. And, uh, but it's, only, it's one die and I need to pass that. Uh, it, their stat is a four. So I need a four or better to react. I got a four. So that means that they can react and they can take one action. That action that they're going to take is close ranks. So basically, when you're trying to activate a unit, if they're fatigued, you need to roll, but you get two dice. When you're trying to react, whether they're fatigued or not, you need to roll and you need, and you need to roll one die. So they have already performed one action. This is the second action that they're going to perform. Again, they're, uh, they have an armor save of four and they're in the open. That means that they will gain no fatigue, but I'm going to change the, change the action counter from green to a yellow. And that's my reaction. And now you can continue. Okay. And so I'm going to do my second action. I'm going to uh, shoot at those guys because I'm in long range. I'm going to roll half the dice. So instead of six, I'm going to roll three. These guys normally hit on fours, but because he's an overlapping shields, I need fives. I roll. I didn't hit any. But since I didn't hit, he doesn't need to roll any fatigue. I, this was my second action, which normally doesn't do fatigue, but because this is a shoot action, they got one fatigue and I need to decide whether I want to do a third action, um, but no, I'm going to keep it like that. All right, so I'm going to spend my last command point to activate my Velites. Um, the first action is they're going to move four inches. Let's have a look where we are in range. I need to be within eight inches they're over eight. Right. So because I'm over eight, there's no point in doing a throw action. Uh, uh, so I am going to... I'm going to stay there. That's going to be their action. And that's it. So I'm going to activate these guys. Um, so he's going to use his last command point to activate my summits again. They still are not fatigued. Now, this is a, a, an example. These unit has been activated before, but that doesn't matter. It just matters how many actions it already had. Of course, when you want to do it like this, where you're going back and forth, you're gonna end up using more command points. But if you have them, this is a great choice. So these guys get activated. They're gonna do their second action. Um, since I'm within six, what I'm gonna do, these guys have throwing spears that have a range of four. Uh, but of course the throw action allows you two inches to move forward. So I'll move two inches and throw my throwing spears. So I'll roll five dice. Because this is your first action of this activation, I cannot react. Like, otherwise I could be able to run away, but this is his first action on this activation after he spent the command point, so there's nothing I can do. So these guys are gonna roll five dice. They need normally fives because that's the shoot stat, but because we are in cover, it's gonna need a six. They rolled a six, um, so that's one hit. All right, so my guys have the uh, Skirmish Specialist trait, which means that when they are being attacked with missile weapons, uh, they get a plus one save modifier. They are only armed with shields, so the saving throw is a six. Because of that plus one save modifier, it means that I would save on a five or a six. However, the throwing spear has a minus one um, modifier, so it takes me back to a six. So I need to roll a die, looking for a six, I got oh, it, saved so it. I saved it. However, even though I saved it, um, it, he did score a hit, and that means I need to take a test. The test is one die because I need to take the test, mm -hmm. but there were no extra wounds. Their uh, morale stat is a four, so I need to roll a four or better. Passed it, so I gained no additional fatigue, and we need to mark your guys. And for me, this was a throw action, which gives you one fatigue, and it was a second action in the rough terrain, so that puts it another fatigue, I gain two fatigues. And that was my second action, and now I need to decide whether I'm going to do a third. And in fact... And you need to remember they are unloaded, I guess yes. the throwing spear. And so these guys are in fact going to do a second action, a third action. So now you have the chance to interrupt. Alright, so 
Another uh, advantage of the Skimmer Specialist trait is that when I have an active unit uh, within four inches, I can try to react without having to spend a command point, which is good because my commander has spent all of their command points. So in this case, I'm going to do that because if those guys engage me in melee, that's not going to be a good thing for my guys. So I need to take a chance and roll one die, and I need a four or better for, the, for this unit to react. Three, I fail. If I had succeeded, the only reaction I could take with that special trait is a move, is a move action, and I would have used that to run away. However, I fail, so they're stuck there. Okay, so my guys are moving four into contact. Well, so, so what they're gonna do now is an all-out attack. So they're gonna move into contact, and he needs to decide what his combat response is. Now, in this game, when you get attacked in close combat, you have one of three options. You either hold, which means you just take the damage and try to survive. You defend, which costs you an action, but doesn't give you fatigue, but allows you to parry blows. Or you counter attack, which costs you an action and fatigue, but you get to hit back. So what are you going to do? So I'm going to do the defend, uh, hoping that uh, you get tired and I can stop some of your attacks. Perfect. So I'm going to roll five dice, I hit normally on fours. Now when you have two fatigues, it starts to take a toll on you. So two fatigues in the table, it gives you minus one to hit, you hit on fives. Um, and so that's it. And sixes, because I'm doing an all-out attack, are going to count double. So I only hit one with a six, so it's two hits. So because I'm doing defend, yeah. before I take my saving throw, I can try to stop those hits. He did two hits. Do I have enough models to try to stop two hits? Yes, I can. Five models. So I'm going to roll two dice for those two hits that he got. And I'm rolling against my melee stat, which is a four. So I need fours or better to cancel those hits. I cancel one, the one got through. So right now, one hit go through. And now I need to do a saving, uh, saving throw. Uh, saving throw is a six. The modifiers that I mentioned before now don't count into play because this is a melee action. So I need a six. Uh -huh. And I got and a six. Got so the guy saved. However, I did get a hit. So I need to check, I need to take morale. And two special you, uh, rules are going to count here. One, he's a skirmish specialist, they don't like to hit in melee, so when they get hit, they do one more die. And these guys are guerrilla specialists that give them one more. So, it's so basically it's one for checking, one for the... Uh, no, I didn't have a wound, so yeah. one for skirmish specialists against uh, combat troops, and one for guerrilla oh. troops. Yeah. And I need to pass them, and they are fours. And I pass yes. two. two. So that means that they will gain one more fatigue. And when you do defend, you always are the one that pushes back after the combat, right? So I need to go back one inch. So they pull back one inch because they did the defend. And defend, when I do defend, I actually it actually consumes one action. So I need to go from yellow to red, indicating that they have taken three actions. However, defend does not gain any additional fatigue. So I, that's... I'm, I, now, this done. was very expensive for me because I did an all-out attack, which is two fatigues, and it's a third action in the woods, so it's one more. So this costs five fatigues, it takes me all the way to five. So these guys actually did very poorly here, and this is the third action, because they expend, they spend a lot of energy and, and, and effort trying to get to these guys, and they actually didn't do that, that much damage, so it's going to be a little tough on me for the next turn. So with that, the turn is over. We're about out of command points um, and we have nothing left to do. So at the end of the turn, we're gonna take out all of the action counters and for every action less than three that you took, you're gonna gain one fatigue back. They're basically resting with whatever energy they have left. These guys spend their three actions, so they're gonna retain their five fatigues, which is very bad. These guys, they don't have a fatigue, so nothing to regain, nothing to regain. These guys, they only had two actions, and so they can regain one fatigue, and they're back at zero. My guys, none of these guys have fatigue. <clears throat> and these guys took their three actions, so they cannot recover any of those two points. And that's it. And now we need to... So now we'll move to the next turn. Next turn. First thing we need to do is recover the command points. Yes, it is. Okay, bid for initiative. Yeah. Um, that. Mm, yep. I think. Okay. Okay. Let's roll our initiative. Three, one. one. So I'm gonna start. Okay. And I don't really know where to start. 
Um, I hadn't thought about this. So, actually, instead of activating a unit, I'm going to do something that is allowed, which is I'm going to choose a unit to rest. At any point, you can choose a random unit, uh, any unit you want. You gave it an action and you take a fatigue away. Basically, you tell them to rest. And an interesting thing is, resting does not require spending a command point from the character. Perfect, because if you just give them the time, they'll naturally try to do that, right? Your turn. Now, they're still at four, so that means that they have quite a few modifiers against them. Uh, so I need to figure out if I can hit them now, right? And unfortunately, I have two points of fatigue. Um, hmm. What should I do? Well, let's give, let's try this. I'm going to try to use uh, the Estadi, mm -hmm. and I'm going to activate them. And they're going to go into, um, they're going to do a throw action, right? Okay. So what they're going to do is they're going to do their two inch move. And when they do that two inch move, they're going to go into open order. The reason for that is because uh, if I'm in close order, I only throw half of my pila. Um, so I want to be in open order to roll all of them. Perfect. And I'm within four inches. So it's seven dice. Normally they hit on fives, but because you're in the woods, and I'm hitting on sixes. That's seven five. Okay, seven dice and sixes. <laughs> no! Okay. One. You got one hit. One hit. And so my saving throw is normally a four. These guys have a throwing spear or pillum, which turns it into a five. And when you're at four fatigues, you actually have one less to save. So it's on a six. These guys are tired and cannot even hold their shields up. I roll a one, which is very far from a six, and one guy dies. So ah. at, the, at this point, I've, I've done one action, and I have one fatigue, because the throw is always a fatigue. Before that, I need to roll my uh, morale. I pass both, because I have a guts of four, and having four fatigue gives me a minus one, so I needed a five, but I was very lucky. These guys are in this fight, so ah. no fatigues. So I'm going to do a second action. Okay. Uh, are you going to interrupt? Hmm, I'm going to interrupt. It's gonna probably charge me, so yes. I'm gonna interrupt, so. Uh, and this guy's gonna spend one uh, one point to activate the Balearic Singlers. So he needs to roll one die. These guys have guts of three, they're professional mercenaries. And they rolled a two, so they don't care that they have guts three. So then he's gonna do his second action. When you fail the, a reaction, the only thing that happens is you wasted your command point. All right. One thing I need to remember is because oh. they throw, they're unloaded. Unloaded there. All right. So now they're going to charge in with their Still swords. It. Yeah. Boom. Okay. All right. And my combat response is going to be defend. These guys are trying to stay alive. Okay. So. I have seven dice. Mm -hmm. uh, my melee stat is a four. Yes. So I don't have any modifiers at this point, so I'm looking for fours. No, 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 no. Two hits. Two hits. So I'm going to first try to parry. Hold I know. on, hold on. I'm going to spend my fate point and okay. call on the gods. <laughs> Characters have uh, uh, fate points that they can use once per battle to affect what happened within. Uh, their command range. So I can only do that once in the battle, but this is a horrible die roll, right? I should have rolled better. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to call on Mars and say, help me, and roll again. And we'll see if he listens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three hits. There you okay. Go. He listened a little bit. So you're far from your homeland. Just a little bit far. Okay, so three, I'm going to parry. They normally parry on fours, but because I have four fatigues, uh, I'm at minus one, so I need fives. I, one of them was parried, and now I need to save. I normally save on fours, but because of my fatigue, I save on fives. I didn't, so I lose two guys. This was expensive. And so uh, now I need to roll three dice in, um, for, for morale, because it's one for being hit, and two, and I need fives. Now, these guys are still extremely brave, so they pass two, one down, so they go to five fatigues, go down an inch. Unfortunately though, in, in spite of her of their heroics, whenever you have more than double fatigue, your number of people in the unit, that unit is gonna uh, give up. And so these two guys go away, and because that happened in combat, anyone at four inches of them, of the, of the killing unit, 
might get scared by that. But it's far away from everyone, so this one actually went without problem. So my unit of courageous some knights just died horribly. So my guys, they took a second action in rough terrain. Their, their saving throw is a four, that means that they would gain one additional fatigue. However, yes. that action is an attack, and attack is always an extra fatigue. That means that I need to gain two fatigues. So from my one fatigue, I go to three, and I will indicate that they've taken two actions. So at this point, I think uh, I'm going to stop there and say that the activation for those guys is done, and it's back to you. Okay, so I'm going to now activate my, my Balearic Singers. Um, these guys, let's see how far we are from this. Um, hmm, I could either shoot at these guys, which they're within 12, or I could shoot at these guys. Um, you know what? I'll, I'm gonna do a shoot action against, uh, against these guys here. So, again, I'm far, um, I'm, I'm, I'm at long range, so I only roll three dice. These guys normally roll on fours. There's no overlapping shields here, so I still need fours. I hit one. Um, not super exciting, but maybe you should call on the gods. No, no, no call on the gods. Alright, so one saving throw. Mm -hmm. um, so my guys normally save on a four or better. However, they okay. have three fatigues. That still doesn't affect their save stat. So it's four. But because <coughs> slings are not that penetrating, you, can, you have a plus one, so he needs a three. So I need a three or better. I got, I got a two. <laughs> so one dies. So I'm going to lose one guy. Roll morale. And when we say they're not that penetrating, we're comparing it to javelins or uh, or heavy or pilum, right? Agreed. They're certainly good, but... Well, that guy knows it. All right. So, um, so I got... I need to take a test. Yeah. And I took a casualty. Yeah. So it's two tests, two dice. And they're normally fours. However, uh, because they have three fatigues, they're now fives. Yep. So let's see what I got. You failed both. So I failed both. That takes me to... Five fatigue, not good. Okay, then that was their first action. They did gain one fatigue for that. Uh, they're gonna take a second action. I could try to. Yes, you can. Up, right? Mm. No, we'll let them do it. Okay, so they're gonna shoot again. Mm -hmm. Those guys. One hit. Okay. So. I'm not sure if these mercenaries have earned their goal yet. Their gold. All right, so as I, just like before, they save on fours. Um, they would save on threes because of the sling. However, now I have five fatigues. That means that I go, I go down one, so I'm yep. saving on fours. He I saved. saved. Uh, I still have to check fatigue. You do? I pass. Wow. Okay, uh, and that was the second action. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And that gained them a second fatigue. And now the decision is whether they need to do a third action or not. Uh, and they're not. They're not going to do a third action. That's an important thing that people should learn when they play <laughs> the game. You can take three actions. It's not always a good thing to take the three actions because if these guys were to take the third action, then there's nothing they can do yeah. if someone comes towards them. They couldn't even well, take a combat. They showed with the Samnites. The Samnites yeah. there were overextended. All okay, right. good. So, back to me. Um, I'm going to spend the command point. I'm going to activate my... Delete this. Yep. Um, we know that they're out of eight, yep. so I'll have to do one move action first. Mm -hmm. and, and with that move action, I'm going to get uh, within the range. Yep. Yeah. And I am going to do a second action. I'm going to interrupt. So now, they are skirmish specialists. Yes. However, I'm outside of four inches. You are indeed. So to react, he needs to spend a command point. So I am spending a command point. He wants to have them react so that they can do something before they get skewered with the javelins. They have normally guts of three and they only have two fatigue. So they need a three. They'd roll a two again. So these mercenaries are not <laughs> worth their gold. Okay, nice. so uh, I spent the command point and I didn't get anything in return. All right, so now my, my second action is going to be a throw. Okay. Which is I'll just get within my range of six inches. Yes. And I believe this. And now I'm going to attack them. So it's five javelins. Yep. And I'm looking for fives. Yes, you are. Okay, three hits. Uh, normally these guys don't have a save of seven, but because they're skirmish specialists, they save on sixes. 
they all of them die. Uh, so Whoa. three dead. Um, I'm gonna take them. And now I need to roll four dice. You don't want to call on the gods again? Uh, no, not on this roll. Not, <laughs> not for sixes. Now I'm, I should have done the thing. I could have rolled the, the gods yes. for for the activation. For that too. Okay, so I need to roll four dice of morale. These guys is three or more. Uh, they still failed one, so they go to three fatigue. And you go. You have to. So this rush. is my second action. And I have, and it's a throw, so even though it lies in the open with nothing, a throw is a knack, it's a fatigue. Yep. And now I'm thinking, well, maybe I should take another action and try to finish them off because they're three fatigues, right? And it's going to be difficult for them to react. So I'm going to take another action. Hmm. I want to try to react. No, I want to interrupt. Let's see, I have three command points left. Um, I'm still outside of four. I purposefully yeah. stayed outside of four so that he has to spend command points if he wants to react. So it's three dice. I'm gonna hit on fives. I am going to try to react. So these guys now, instead of a three, they need a four to react. Come on, yes. So they want to stay alive. So they are gonna shoot at them before they get shot again. So these guys normally hit on uh, fours, but because they have three fatigues, they're gonna hit on fives. They did one hit. Well, to save. And so I normally save on sixes because of the sling, I would save on fives because I'm scaring specialists against missile troops. Yeah. I save on fours. Yes, you do. A saves. saves. But I still need to check uh, fatigue. Now, an important thing is that because I didn't take a wound, I'm only going to roll one die. Yep. And that's good because that means I can only gain one fatigue. Because yep. if he managed to put two fatigues on my unit, that would stop them and I would have to finish my activation. But uh, let's see what happens. I roll a four, they are forced, so they pass. <laughs> so they did nothing. They spend their third action, they gained a the fatigue, they're now in four, and they did nothing to develop it. All right, so now I'm going to take my um, third action, and I'm going to uh, shoot my javelins. While he does that, um, javelins don't get unloaded when you shoot. Uh, throwing spears do. And it's because the idea is that javelins, the guys, that's their main thing. They carry five or six of them and they have a, a light <coughs> shield on second hand. They can do that. Guys that carry throwing spears, they only carry one or two and they have a heavy shield. So the act, the having to have the, the throwing spear ready again takes a whole action. For these guys, it don't. All right. So I got uh, two hits on you. Two. And so I'm going to roll two saves. Uh, my save is seven, but because I'm skirmish specialist, it's on a six. No, two dead, and I'm going to roll morale, but for no good reason, because that guy is still out. He fails one, so he goes to five fatigue, and since he's more than double him, he dies, or he surrenders, or whatever we want to... And Nick, see. who's building Romans, is getting very excited that the Romans are doing well. <laughs> okay. Soon these Italians will be allies, we'll just put so them in the So things are looking dire. Do <laughs> um, you put your third action there? Yes, okay, so it's a third action, Yep. and it's a throw, so it's another fatigue. So basically they go to two fatigue and two, three actions. Okay, so Graco here is getting nervous, he's gonna spend one command point, and is gonna take his veterans, so hoping that they're gonna save the day. Their first action, normally when you're in close ranks, you only move two. Uh, but if you're drilled, you can move four directly forward. So he gives them the order, they march forward in their phalanx, and now they're going to do a second action. Phalanx. Shield overlap. Okay. Right? It's like six yeah. guys. But they're shield against shield with a yeah. spear going over the shield. Okay. So, so that they're, they're going to do a second action. Are you going to interrupt? Let me see. Um, hmm. I'm within six. So I could try to interrupt. And uh, so, yeah, I think it's a good option to try to interrupt Perfect. them. Um, of course, provided that it works, right? Now I have three command points, and um, hmm, we'll take a chance. We'll spend one command point. Yep. Uh, and I'll roll my die. I need a four or better. Yep. To react. Nope. No. Fail. Okay. So they're gonna do a second action. Their second action is an attack, which they can only do two inches. But I'm within two inches, so they're gonna attack this gentleman here. Okay, so then I did my attack. You need to choose your combat response. Uh, all right, so this is tough. Um, so you're overlapping shields, so my chances of hitting those guys is going to be tough. 
So what I want to do is I want to defend and try to hold as much as I can. So I'm going to roll six dice. I hit on threes because these guys are veterans and I have no fatigue or anything to discount from that. I rolled my dice on the floor, which doesn't count. So now I'm going to roll them where it does. And I hit four out of the six. All right. So here's the deal with defend. This is important to show the difference, right? When you roll saving throws, you always roll one die per hit. When you are defending, you can roll one die per hit as long as you have enough models to do that. And what it means is I need to count the models that I have. So I have four hits. Do I have at least four models? I do. So that means that I can roll my four dice to try to defend. Uh, their combat, their melee stat is a four. Uh, however, with five fatigues, they're minus two. So they need sixes to defend. Hey. So I only need sixes here. Oh. And I got two sixes. Come on. So then two hits were canceled, two go through. Uh, now I still get my saving throws. Normally they save on fours. With five fatigues, that's one worse. So I'm saving on fives. Come on. And I save both. Uh, now, I did take hits. Yes, so did. I, did, I do have to take a morale check. I'm going to <laughs> <laughs> I Good. take a morale check. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm normally fours, but uh, I have minus one. So I need fives. Come on! <laughs> okay. So, they're fine. Now, uh, because I did defend, normally in a combat what happens is uh, if the attacker puts more fatigue in the defender, the defender pulls back. If not, the attacker pulls back. But when you do defend, you're always yielding terrain. So I'm the one that is going to pull back one inch away from the attacker. And the other reason why I did defend is because defend doesn't add any fatigue. And I don't want to add any fatigue because I'm already at five. So I will go to red because that was my third action. For me, this was my second action because these guys are heavies. The second action actually costs a fatigue. And because it was an attack, it costs a fatigue. So they're now at two. <sighs> and that is uncomfortable because now if I want to do a third action, it's going to be very painful. And so I guess those guys will remain where they are. So that's enough for those guys today. Okay, so back to me. I'm going to spend my command point and I'm going to activate these guys um, and they are going to do a throw action at that phalanx. Because the problem with that phalanx is those are veterans. I didn't bring any veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's tough to hit them in, in combat. So at least what I can try to do is put fatigue on them. If they get tired, uh, that's good enough, right? So, um, I need to be within six because the throwing spear has a range of four and the throw, and the throw always allows you to do, move two inches. Um, and I am within six, yeah. so I'm going to do my two inch move. You're opening your ranks? And I'm going to open my ranks so I can throw all my pila. Okay. The assumption is if you're in close ranks, then some of the guys in the second rank will go and throw the pila, but not everyone, because you want to maintain that shield overlap. So. Now I have uh, seven pillar. Uh, normally they hit on fives, but because of the shield overlap, I hit on sixes. And I'm trying to get at least one, because you'll see what happens if I get one. Haha! <laughs> -ha. uh, I didn't get any. That's because it was seven. Seven yeah. is a wrong number. The reason, okay. so I really wanted to get at least one, because they, the Romans with their pillar, they have an, uh, a special advantage that when they're throwing uh, at, a at a unit form in closed ranks, They'll put an extra die on their fatigue uh, because of the, the pilum bringing down the shields and uh, adding an extra disorganization. So I wanted to try to get that. Unfortunately, without any hits, he doesn't need to check fatigue. So that's my first action. And it's one fatigue because it's a throw. Um, I'm going to do the second action. You want to mm, interrupt? I'm not going to interrupt. And I am unloaded because I just threw my pila at him. So what is uh, your second action? I'm intrigued. So my second action... Um, is going to be um, for my second action. I am going to close ranks. Okay. Oh. That doesn't mean any fatigue because I'm okay. Uh, and. Um, uh, and I am going to, I think I'm going to stop there. Okay. 
So it's back to you. Okay, so I have one command point left. I'm gonna activate these guys. You see how far we are. You were six, but not eight. Well, so these guys are going to first move. Their first action is gonna be move. And then, let's first action, they're gonna, hmm. They're gonna do a second action. They're gonna interrupt. Mm hmm. I think I will try to interrupt. Okay. I'll try. We'll see what happens. So I need a four better. Yep. He does. Do. So for their second action is they're just going to attack them. Okay. Charge in. For the second action, I'm sorry, for the reaction. Perfect. Okay. So now I need to uh, choose a combat response. Are they still closed? Um, they are not. That's again. I went into open. Yeah. He, if he wanted to react in close, he would have to have only move two because I was more than two away. He chose to break his formation and and attack before before I could do my. They're drilled. Evil. They are, but uh, drilled allows you to move straight forward in four inches, but not to attack for. Uh, so attack is still two inches. So, okay, those guys did that, and now I need to choose my combat response. Um, I'm actually going to choose to counterattack. So let's see how this goes. Uh, so counterattack, I will hit with all of my guys, unless if I was less than him, I wouldn't, because the attacker, if a, if a smaller number of attackers attacks you, when you counterattack, you cannot throw more dice than the ones attacking you. Yeah, the other way around, not if you were less. So if I was attacking with five guys, yes. you could not Shoot six back at me. Exactly. So you're gonna roll seven dice in attack. I'm gonna roll six dice back at you. And this is simple. Yeah. So roll your attacks. You hit on fours. I got three hits. Three hits. I save on fives. So I'm gonna roll my three saves. I save one. So I will have two casualties. But I get my six dice back. I roll on fours. Um, three hits. Okay. And I save on fours as well. Uh huh. Save two. So one yes. casualty. One casualty. It's not going well. Okay. So and we'll now we need to roll morals. I'm going to roll three morals. Uh, their guts is five. They're not that brave. One pass, so two fatigues. And you need to roll two dice. Pass both. I passed both. So no fatigues. So um, I do gain a fatigue because I did uh, an attack. Yeah. So I'll go to red. Mm -hmm. However, you gain more fatigue than me from the combat. Yeah, so you so have to go back. One inch. And then I gain one action and one fatigue because I counterattacked. Yep. So one fatigue and one action. So this is pretty bad. Now, I only gained one fatigue from morale. So did I gain one fatigue from morale or two fatigues from morale? I lost two. Because I lost two, my activation gets interrupted. So I was hoping to have a third action to hit him without him being able to hit me back. But because I got two fatigues, that unit gets stalled and they lose their activation. Uh, if I had, since they only have two actions left, if I had an action, a command point left, I could try to activate them again. But I have no command points left, so the turn is over and we need to recover. These guys only did two actions, so they're going to recover one fatigue. These guys only did two actions, so they're going to recover one fatigue. Uh, they were in three, so I'm going two. Let's try not to cheat here. So these guys did all their actions, so they cannot recover any fatigue. Uh, this guys took no action, so they can recover the three point of fatigue, so they're back to fresh. And I think at this point, it's a good thing to check how we're doing on victory conditions, just to yes. keep the track on that, right? So, so how many models do you have? So, uh, I don't know, let me see, six, uh, 24, so four models. For each four models, we're gonna have a breakpoint. Um, and when you get to three breakpoints, you're gonna start testing. Now, I've lost already um, three, so I have three breakpoints. 
and then each of these counters uh, objectives if you're not within four and the enemy is will count as one more so bottom line is i do i have three breakpoints so normally i would have to roll three dice against uh, my guts which is three uh, of my general so i would roll three dice with three or more and need two successes but because this is an army that is is a muster it's it's built according to uh, to the traditional way of building an army and then you get a free pass on your first break uh, test of the game so i've used my free pass we should mark that somehow but it's just i remember don't worry um, <laughs> so okay uh, my guys they're defending their homeland and so they're not willing to go out of this fight yet although things are looking pretty 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 dire um so we're gonna go now um uh, we're gonna bid for initiative now yes mm -hmm. okay let's do that so i'm spending two command points this time because i do want initiative this turn so let's see where that goes so boom i'm in a three um so you're a plus two i'm a plus two you got i it. win so hmm question now do i want both things need to act pretty fast um But you know what? Let's do it. Let's go with the with the veterans. I don't want those guys going away. So I'm activating them now. They have one fatigue. So now I need to test. As we said, when you try to activate a unit that has fatigue, you need to roll two dice against their guts, which is three. I need one success. I did roll one uh, a six, so they activate. And their first action is going to be attack. They're still in close ranks. They move their two inches, and they fight with these guys. So, um, I am. you need to choose a combat response. I'm going to defend. Defend. So I'm going to roll six dice on threes. Okay, I, I missed three. I only hit three. Uh, now, this, this is my poem to use the favor of the gods. Um, no, I'm going to keep those three. And you're going to parry. So again, uh, normally I'm four, but because of the five fatigues, I'm looking for sixes. Yep. Save one, Man, two still. go through. Okay. And saving throw, I'm at a minus one, so I need fives. Yep. Save one. Oh. So there's one guy. One dead. And you check fatigue. That's two dice. Mm hmm. And I'm looking for five. Fives. Fail two. So now I fail two, so I would gain two fatigues, but I can only go up to six. The second point of fatigue, uh, because I cannot take it, uh, I need to lose two guys. Now, I'm, I have three guys, six points of fatigue. I don't have more than twice, so they're still there. But they're not happy. <laughs> All right, and now, um, okay. So, you're, you, you go one back. I have to go one yes. back. Huh, so, I okay. I to gain so one had, action, but no fatigue. Because I had I hoped defend. to kill that unit outright. Uh, I gain one fatigue and one action. And so, mm, this is not great. I'm gonna continue acting, I'm gonna do a second action. And by the way, I never spent the command point here, which I should have. Okay, Thank you. so are you going to drop? So I could try to react. The problem is that uh, with a six, it's gonna be difficult to react with this guys. Could try to react with some other guys, but at this point, I would just rather wait. I mean, and wait until you get tired. Okay, so. Anyway, we're gonna try something strange here, but again, things are getting dire. So I'm gonna use my second action to attack here. Mm -hmm. But that, I'm gonna have to break my formation and attack. See how this goes. Okay. Um, so, what combat response are you gonna choose? I'm gonna choose defend. Okay. So, I have my six guys. Um, I'm going to hit on normally on threes, but because I have two fatigues, I defend on four. I attack on fours. Okay, three hits. Lord Vader is showing up, but we're going to ignore him. Let's. <laughs> okay, so how many hits you got? Three hits. Three hits. So normally I would defend. So I would defend on fours, which is my melee stat. However, I have two fatigues that takes me to fives. So I need fives. Oh, no luck. Um, saving throws. Yep. And fours. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, two dice. dice. Yes, finally. Damage is going through. And now I need to take a uh, check with three dice. And I pass. Oh. 
Okay, so no fatigues. Yep. So no fatigue. I did defend. That's an action, but no extra fatigue. However, I will pull back one inch. And this is where I am. I'm going to put my dead guys over here. My guys, this was their second action. It was an attack. So, and because a second action for a heavy unit is fatigue, uh, this means it, they go all the way to four fatigue. Um, and now I need to decide whether I'm going to do a third action. Um, and I'm not. I'm not going to do a third action. Okay. Hmm. So, um, what are we going to do here? The problem that I have is my guys, I have two units that I have two points of fatigue. Uh, so, um, every time that I try to activate one of them, I'll have to um, roll to see if it happens. One thing I can do is I can spend extra command points to increase the odds of, uh, of success. And it's going to try that. I'm going to do, I'm going to spend two points to try to activate this guys. And they're going to try to uh, see what happens. So normally I would roll two dice, looking for a four, but I'm going to add an extra one. I did, I passed. Yeah, because of the eight. extra. <laughs> so that worked. And they're going to attack um, okay. this guys. So do it. I want to try to make sure that those tribesmen. Oh, my tribesmen are going to counter attack. All right. So, um, country tag, give me a second. Yep. Uh, sure. Or are we going to try to? Oh yeah, we're going to counter attack. Yes. All right. So, I'm normally looking for fours. However, because of the two points of fatigue, I'm looking for fives. Yes, you are. And same thing is going to be for you. So, let's see what I got. Two hits. Two hits. I roll my saves with fives. One save. So one is going to fall. And then I roll back four dice. I also hit on fours, but minus one for fatigue and fives. I hit one. Try to save. Save. You do. Uh, so I need to roll two dice for morale. I passed one, so they're gonna go one fatigue less. So to three. I need to roll one. I passed. <laughs> okay. So these guys go one back. And now. And now, yes. I did a counterattack, so they gain one action and one fatigue. And I did an attack, so they gain one action and one fatigue. Yes. And uh, that was a dead. costly activation, but I think it paid off, so I'm going to stop there for those unit, for that unit. Okay. Um, so I'm going to, with this guy's, um, hmm, what to do now? Well, things are getting very dire, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try a gamble here. This guy is going to spend his activation on himself, and he's gonna jump into the fray. So first action, he's gonna move four, and um, and then he's gonna do a second action. Go okay. ahead. He's gonna charge home. Sees those guys a little bit tired. It's a little risky, but he's gonna try. What are we going to do? I'm gonna defend. Okay, so he has three attacks, uh, and so he hits on threes. No fatigues yet. So two hits. All right, going to defend. Looking for five because I have three fatigues. Defended one, and now I'm trying to save. And I didn't save, so I lose another guy. And I need to check, take a check. And I fail too, right? Yes, you did. So they go to five, and I will go back, and I'll go to red. And that was his second action. Yep. And he um, has two fatigues because I uh, know he uh, he has a saving throw of four, so his second action doesn't fatigue him. So he just has one out of the um, what he did. Uh, and then the question is, is he going to do a third one? Uh, now I know that those Velites there mm -hmm. are, are, are dangerous and that scares me. Uh, let me see if they're within four. Uh, they're not within four. Hmm. You 
You know what? Everything hangs in the balance. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do my third action. Are you going to interrupt? Hmm. Mm, let me think. Uh, no. Okay. So, turn this on. Um, he's gonna roll three dice. Oh, you don't, he cannot, his only combat response is hold, because those guys don't have actions left. Yep. I hit on threes. I hit one, but I think this is a great moment to use the favor of the gods uh, on himself. So, now he hits all of them. Uh, Very. So, saving throws. And he saves some fives. Five. So, there's two, two guys, guys, and the other guy will go away. Ha! This is what we were looking for. And now he is within four. So uh, because he killed a unit in combat, those guys need to roll two dice and see if they get scared by his massacre. We get one. They do, they go to three fatigues. He, uh, on the other hand, goes to three fatigue, to three actions, so he's here. And uh, he gains two fatigues, one because it was the third action and one because um, he did an attack. Okay, go Graco. All right. So I'm going to activate my D lights on okay. the other side. Let's check the range. They're within eight. Ugh, so they're going to hurt. Do throw action. So they will move my veterans. Two inches. All right. So I'm going to throw five javelins at those guys. Again, odd number. Yeah, well, I only have 10 so far. Uh, wow, three hits. Oh, because, yeah, well, they're, all, they're in open order. There's no shield overlap, so you're saving on five. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm hitting on five, so it's yeah. three hits. So these guys, they normally save on threes, but because they're tired, they save on fours. Come on, guys, this is the moment. Yes, two saves. So one goes down, and they are going to roll two dice of morale on threes normally, but because of that on fours. They failed one, so they go to five fatigues. That's scary. Okay. All right, so I guess the v lights have to keep trying. And they'll do another throw action. So I'm going to do another five. Mm, I can decide whether I want to interrupt. Yep. Hmm. I'm not. I'm not going to interrupt. Okay. So, uh, another five javelins at this. Yep. No, go yep. for it. Another yes. five javelins at this yeah. guys. And I got two, two more hits. hits. I roll again, save some fours. One save. Oh. And I roll two morales. Um, now, no, because I'm at five. Oh, yes, five. I still, it's only a minus one, so they passed both. Okay. They're still there. Mm. And now, you use second action and gain one. Perfect. Okay, battle hangs by a thread. All right, so now I'm seeing that you have enough, that you have four breakpoints. So I think I'll, I'll leave them there to rest. Uh, the only thing is to try to push you away from that objective. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave them there to rest. Um, okay. And I'm going to... Okay, so that's, that's it. So that's my turn. I have one left, one command point left. Um, chance of activating these guys is low. Um, I'm going to need a six. I could do it. Um, let's see if this guy's going Six or not? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna try. This guy is going to spend his last command point trying to activate these guys. It's two dice. These guys normally have a guts of five, so they need a five, but because they're fatigued, they need a six. This is a little bit of a long shot. They don't make it. Now, when you fail an activation, not a reaction, but an activation, it automatically spends an action. It's as if they rest, basically. So they gain one action and they lose one fatigue. So it's not the end of the world. Okay, so that's done for me. Okay, so I'm going to rest with this, guys. Okay. Right? Uh, so that normally means that I take an action and yep. I lose a point of fatigue. 
but I'm also going to spend a command point when the unit is resting you can spend a command point to try to rally them mm -hmm. um, and sense. in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend two command points you can spend up to two command points so that to see if I can rest extra points what I do is I roll one per command point that I spend and I'm looking against the guts unmodified for the for the rally action and I pass wow. both wow so that means that they recovered two extra points They're and they back go in to business. three and that's going to be uh, that's my last command point so it's up to you okay so I'm done so all the right turn is over so the turn is over so let's recover this one goes to four this one's going to two and this guy remains at three so these guys have one action left so they recover one point these guys have one action left so they recover another point and this guys took no action so they recover all their points and they're back to fresh um, at this point I think you need to take a check yes I have four com four break points he has three so he I have two. Oh, you have two well yeah. even if he had three the one that has more break points needs to test so now I know three dice and I need to roll fours or more uh, because I'm at four break points so I have minus one to the actual test so it's three dice roll fours or more I did roll two fours so these guys stay on five okay okay Pause. okay let's do it okay all right let's recover to five command points and now we need to bid in okay. I'm ready yes no one second um, okay yes now let's do it okay okay I have two you have one roll my die roll a three plus two is a five you roll a five, five plus one is a six, so you you go first. Mm hmm. All right. So, going to spend a command point, and I'm going to start with these uh, D lights. Elite test. What are they going to do? Hmm. They have to attack, but they have different targets. Uh, I can attack the commander because he's the closest, so I could if I wanted. But these guys are. Tough, so it might be better just to go for them. Um, hmm. well, I can just try to get rid of those guys. <laughs> yes, you've given the three options. I think I'm going to go for those guys first, within six inches. So you're going to throw javelins at these guys? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm looking for fives. Good. Oh, Ooh, four four hits. hits. They're all on fives. Three saves. One roll, one dice. Hmm. Now I need to roll two dice of morale. And now they're still, they have guts of five, so they failed both, so they go to four. That's my first action on 115. Yep. Um, and on the second action. They are, now they have four fatigue, so that's good because that means that it's very difficult for them to act. Um, these guys, though, they have an easier chance of activating because of their uh, good quality. So my second is going to be a throw action at those guys. Well, they're going to do a second action first. Yep. So I need to decide whether I'm going to interrupt. Yep. You know what? This guy is going to interrupt himself. He wants to win the battle on his own, so he is going to go um, and do uh, activation on himself that's two dice he has mm -hmm. three but he's at minus one so he needs a four and oh i did it wrong because this is a reaction no yeah so it's only one die <laughs> so and by the way i didn't spend my two on uh, so i i started at five yeah spent two initiative i'm at three yeah spending one to react and so he does react with a five so he's gonna charge before you shoot your javelins again okay he is going to do an attack. Okay, I'm going to do defend. Okay, so you're gonna roll three dice. Uh, he rolls on threes, minus ones, on fours. He hits two. Ah, oh, I was about to do an all-out attack. Okay. All right, so I'm Parry. defending on fours. Save one and save the other one. Uh -huh. uh, you did get a hit, so I need to do a morale check. Okay. Fails, so go to two. And one action, and because I defended, I need to go back one inch. I go to green, and I have a four. 
fatigues. Hmm, does he want to do a second action is the question. You can, because you're reacting. Ah, that's true. And so Because you didn't put two fatigues on me, still I only did yeah. one. I can finish my activation. And um, uh, I think I'm going to throw javelins at those cool. guys. So it's five dice. The good thing now is at least they hit on sixes instead of fives. Yeah. So he did something about it. Ah, okay, one, hit. one hit. I roll to save. Four. They normally roll on threes, but minus one is on yep. four, so they hit us. They still have to roll morale, though, and they don't, so that turns into a five. So that was still now scary. Now goes three, three actions and a fatigue. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the activation for those guys. That's okay. To you. So this guy is going to uh, try to activate these guys, which mm -hmm. is tough, because they're at, well, they're at minus one, so it's going to be on fours. Mm -hmm. Um, so he's spending one command point, I roll two dice, and I need a four, and this is a super important roll. Yes! Oh, they really want to activate. And so their action is going to be two close ranks. They're going to do it towards that side. <laughs> and guys, can you hold the line? We'll see about that. And that's all they're going to do. Aha! Mm -hmm. We're still within four of these guys, so yes, now they need to survive. Okay, so uh, my commander, he's going to spend a point and he's going to activate himself. Oh, oh. didn't see uh, that coming. Yep, I think I'm going to do, so this is my first action. Yeah. You're going to do, uh, you're going to do a second action? Do a second action, yeah. Huh. Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> so for my. All right. So for my second action. Yes. Uh, I'm going to charge a commander. Okay. Let's do this. And the reason for that is like, I don't want you to be attacking my no, Velites. No, yeah. The Velites have no good. actions. So it's the second action that you're using. Put the green one so that I know that you already did one. Yep. Um, and I need to decide my combat response. Um, I'm going to defend. All right. So I'm going to do my three attacks. Mm -hmm. And I'm hitting on threes. I got two hits. Two hits. He defends on three, but because I'm at four, he defends on fours. He defended one. And now he saves on fours, but because I'm at uh, minus one with fives. Yes! So he saves. I did get hit. So roll morale. He doesn't pass morale, so he will be at five fatigues. So an interesting thing to note is that he, there's five fatigues and only uh, one guy, but the characters have, um, uh, they have iron will. So basically they don't... It's uh, okay, put him there. So basically, they, they don't run away like other troops do, right? That's a special trait that the characters have. So that was your second action. That's my second and action. Gain a fatigue. Gain a fatigue. And for my third action, um, so for my third action, I'm going to move a little bit to the center so that I can get my guys in the command range that I need. And that's going to be my third action, and we'll gain another fatigue because it's third action in the open, and given his armor, he okay. gained another fatigue. Okay. To you. To me. I have one command point left. Everyone here has acted, but if I act with this guy, he'll die of fatigue, so I'm not going to do that. I try to activate these guys and see if they can come and do some damage. Uh, mm -hmm. Good. Or I can try to rally these guys to give them some extra uh, chance of uh, surviving. Which in fact is what I'll do. So this guy, he, these guys are going to rest and they're going to use this point to have a chance. So first they rest, they go to yellow and they move to four. And then I'm going to roll this die to see if I can get them. Yes, because they have got three. Yep. One more, so they go to three. So important because now they don't lose armor. Excellent. You go. All right. So, it's time to activate the B lights. Uh, so I spend my command point. Um, unfortunately, they have a fatigue point, so I need to uh, check for activation. Yeah. And I need a four. Ooh. You did get it. So here we go. 
So, in order to avoid the shield, the shield overlap, I would try. I would need to get behind uh, the front line. I'm not going to be able to do it with the throw action. I would have to do three actions in order to do that. Um, but the other thing I can do is, uh, you have. Okay, I can try to go for those guys. So, my first action is they're going to go here. Yeah, it's dancing around my veterans. Yeah, with the with those with that shield overlap and the good armor, it's going to be difficult to do that. But I can just again, all I want to do is for them to get tired. So that's going to be my first action. I'm going to take another action. You're going yeah. to react? Nope, I'm not. I don't have any command points. So. Oh, you have no command points, so that makes it easier for me. Um, let me check Four. the range. I am within eight of those guys. Ooh. So I'm going to do a throw action. That's okay. If I kill all his lights, and the only thing that remains are the heavies, mm -hmm. then the game is done, because I can just uh, keep dancing around him like the Peltas did against the, uh, uh, against the Spartans. Okay, so that was the second action there. And it's a throw. Yeah, oh, so, put the action at the end. So five dice. Five dice. That's an important thing. It's important to know that every time you gain fatigue because of an action, it's at the end of the action, so it doesn't affect that action in particular. Uh, all right. And one went away. Hey, hey, no miss. miss. So this that's the second action. action, and that's a throw. And I am going to do another one. I cannot react, so. All right. I need to get lucky and have him miss one more. Oh, there's a hit. One hit. There's a hit. I'm going to roll to save. I don't, and that's gonna seal the fate of these guys. They pass their guts, but still, he's one guy left with four fatigue, so he goes away. Okay. So I need to mark, because they went for a third action, and it was a throw, so there are two fatigues. And, of course, that's the end of their activation, but I still have one command point left. So, still goes back to you. Mm -hmm. and I have no command point. So you have to I pass. Have to pass. And um, what I'm going to do is I have one command point left. Hmm. I can try to, I could try to rest these guys, but if they don't do anything, they're already going to rest those two points. Um, so when he, hmm, interesting. Um, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to activate these guys okay. with my last command point. Yeah. So it's to die check. Mm -hmm. And I need a four. You got it? So what they're going to do is they're going to do the ready action because the okay. ready action doesn't gain any fatigue uh, and allows me to get my new ah. pillar ready. So they're pulling their second pillar into action. Okay, so that's the end of the turn. Now I have five break ones. Uh, I'm still have both objectives, so that's not a problem. But I have five breakpoints, which puts me at a minus two. I need to roll three dice and roll two times five or more. Oh, I still want to fight. I still want to fight. Okay, let's go third turn. Well, let's recover the points. Yes. So we need to finish the turn, actually. So this guys will recover their fatigue. This guy's retain one fatigue. This guy retain, regains one fatigue. This is, these guys are fighting to the bare end. They don't want to give in their land to the Romans. There's very little chance that they'll be able to turn this around, but, you know. Uh, um, where's my command points counter for this guy? Okay. Five. Okay, they're gonna die with their boots on, or sandals in this case. Um, so, let's go spend points. Okay. Um, Hold on. Okay, so I spent two, so I roll a six, I roll a five, plus two is a seven. That's why you have six to tie you, but... Yeah, but you have the last yeah, one. So, anyway. so, so I action. won, so I go first. I have one chance to do something. Now, actually, here's an interesting thing that could change the fate of the whole battle. Um, I'm gonna do an all-out attack of these guys to his general, because mm -hmm. if I kill the only commander in the field, there's no one to give orders around, 
So that could change the, 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 the result. So these guys are going to do an all-out attack. They have to break their formation for that. And it's all or nothing, pals. Well, so first you have to spend a command point and you need to yes. activate. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to spend... So I already spent two in initiative, so I have three. I'm going to spend two uh, uh, command points. So instead of rolling two dice, I'm going to roll three. And I need to roll a f uh, three or more. He wants to take no risks. And... <laughs> It's a good thing that he did. So those guys are gonna act, and they're gonna do an all-out attack. Now he needs to choose his combat response. Go to defend. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay. So my guys have four dice. I normally th need threes, but because I have two fatigues, I need fours. And many sixes. I only have one hit. That's not gonna kill the commander. All right. So I can try to defend uh, on a three or better, but I have two fatigues, so it's on a four or better. He defended. So okay. <laughs> that so didn't no, do much. So there's no hits because they were cancelled. So I don't even need to check morale. Yeah. And so... But I do need to pull back one inch because yeah. I defended. And, and I did an all-out attack which gives me two fatigue. So now I'm at four and one action. Now I'm going to do a second action because this is all or nothing right now. Right. So at this point though, um, I can react. Yes, you can. So I am going to spend a point yep. to react with my V-Lights. Okay. Um, Still on troll? Actually, I'm going to spend two points yeah. to react with the V-Lights. So that will mean that instead of rolling one die, I'm going to roll two dice. Okay. And I passed. And they did. So we're going to throw javelins at them. Yeah. So five javelins looking for five. Uh, one hit. You one hit. I roll saves on fours. He didn't save. Mm -hmm. And I need to roll two morales. Also on fours, I didn't pass any of them, so they're now at six fatigues. That might have been it, because now if I, I still can do my second action, but second action would suicide them. So well, you gained no, two fatigues, gonna... right? So you oh, yes, stalled. that is right. I am stalled, so that finishes my activation. Yeah. Okay, I like it. So now, well, so now you're outside of the objective. Yes. You have... Uh, Five, five breakpoints, six breakpoints, so I just need to last. Um, but you can also kill them. Yeah, I know, but uh, I just I, I need to make sure that I don't make any mistakes. Yes. Um, what are we going to do? Well, um, <laughs> six fatigues, they're done. Um, all right, so I'm going to activate this guy here, and um, he is going to activate the V lights. Okay. Uh, so I need to roll two dice and I need a four better. Yes, you do. Nope, no luck. So they rest. So they rest. So they'll go to yellow, but they have no fatigue. So that means that the next time I'll be able to activate them. Really? So my general is going to activate himself. Yep. It's two dice. He needs a four. He does. Yep. And yeah, he's going to do an attack there. Um, it's our only chance. There's another chance. You can surrender, you can join yeah. us, we'll be allies, and we'll go find some goals. I'm gonna do, I do an all out attack. I'm gonna do a <laughs> standard attack. Yes. Boom. Okay. Ah, uh, there. Mm. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna attack these guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna do the fin. Yes. So I'm gonna roll three dice, I need fours. Uh, because of my fatigue, so two hits. All right, so I'm defending, I need fours. Oh, no luck. Saves. Uh, one save. Oh. So one dead guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, two dice check. Pass one. So one fatigue. And because I defended, I have to pull back. And I go to red. I go to five fatigues. And one action. Um, <laughs> this is folly. Um, Are you going to do that? If you're going to do another action, let me know because I might want to re react with mine. Yes, you might. Um, let's do it. Gonna do a third action. Okay, so I'll spend my command point and I'll try to react with him. Let's do it. 
Uh, so it's one die and yep. looking for three, I believe. Three. Three. Ah, oh, it has to fall on the box. So, <laughs> oh, I got a two. So you can ah. go through. So okay, so I have one action left. This guy's gonna attack here, normal attack, because if not, that would be very painful. And he's going to do three attacks. He's gonna need. He's a minus two, so he needs five. He did one hit. Okay, so I'll try to save. Nope. He's dead. And now morale. Pass one. So go to two and pull back one inch. I think that. We're not very worried about your commander. Okay. Out of command points. Mm -hmm. We for we. Oh, this guy first. He moves to six with two actions. And now end of turn. He has one left, so he goes back to five. Mm -hmm. These guys go back to four. So they have two actions left. Our guys remain there. This guy's and now everything. I have he five two. break points, plus I'm not at four of this one anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's a sixth break point. So I need to roll three dice and roll two sixes if these guys want to continue fighting. And that doesn't happen, and my guys decide to go home. It's a great battle. We'll see if we let you go home. <laughs> well, I'm bumped, that's, that's up. <laughs> Um, All right, so this I hope you saw how it works. Uh, I know it's just a game. We didn't we explained some of the mechanics. We hope to do some demos in the future, but uh, in the meantime, I think Nick was nice enough to um, to allow us to present the game and, and his podcast, and we're eager to see what you think about it.